for joining us here at Philip Capital's Market Watch. I'm Natalie, Research Analyst with Philip Securities Research, covering the REITs and property sector. In this episode, we share details on our reinitiation on City Developments Limited, which was published on the 20th of September 2021. We like CDL for three main reasons. Firstly, CDL is poised to catch the Singapore property upcycle with a strong development pipeline. CDL picked up two plots of land year-to-date, the Northumberland Road GLS and the Tenga Gardens EC site. Residential units from its redevelopment projects, Canning Hill Piers and Fuji Xerox, brings CDL's unlaunched pipeline to 1,121 units, which will be launched over the next two years. Based on our forecasts, these two redevelopment projects should yield CDL respectable margins above 30% including the unsold units from earlier launches, we estimate that CDL has 1,746 units to be monetized, translating to FY22 and 23 gross development value of $2.1 billion and $1 billion respectively. Secondly, we like CDL due to the impending recovery of the hospitality sector. The hotel segment contributed 16.5% to FY18 and FY19 EBITDA, but swung to losses due to the pandemic. Portfolio occupancy fell from 74% to 39%, resulting in a 64.5% nose dive in revenue per available room. Cost containment initiatives to reduce duplication of roles and digitalization efforts to lower manning costs should help improve margins, hastening its return to profitability. Keeping our forecasts conservative, we project a 20% revenue CAGA for FY21 to 25. We expect the segment to turn NPI positive by 2024 before recovering to pre-pandemic levels in, F- in 2025. Lastly, monetization of assets through a potential s REIT listing should improve CDL's financial position. CDL applied for the initial public offering of their UK commercial s REIT in June 2021. CDL will co-sponsor the s REIT. Assuming a 20 to 25% stake for CDL, the injection of 125 Old Broad Street and Elkgate House into a 38% geared $3.5 billion S REIT portfolio could unlock $500 to $600 million for the group. To recap, CDL provided a $1.7 billion write down on its exposure to Sincere in the second half of 2020, fully impairing its equity stake in Sincere. CDL's exposure was further reduced from $117 million to $85 million after the transfer of Sincere's 10% stake in Shenzhen Longkang Pest Sincere Tech Park to CDL on the 10th of September 2021. The transfer was a partial repayment on the loan extended to Sincere. Our target price of $9.19 is based on a 35% discount to RNAB per share of $14.14. We reinitiate our coverage on CDL with a buy recommendation as the counter is trading at an attractive 49% discount to our RNAB per share. That's all for Philip Capital's Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you for joining us and see you soon.